So let's see how we build a C program using GCC in Windows 11. So the first thing I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to download an editor. And my suggestion would be to use Visual Studio Code, which if you search for it, you can see you can find it at code.visualstudio.com. Download it and install it. Okay, so now we have it installed. And the next thing we want to do is create a directory where we're going to store our code. So I'll go to this PC on the local disk. And it's really up to you where you want to do this. Maybe you want to do it in your home folder somewhere. But for this example, I'll just make a new folder in the root directory, and I'm going to call it develop. And in that folder, I'll make another subfolder called C programming. And as you can see, there's nothing there. So let's write a C program. I'll say new file. And I'll tell Visual Studio Code that it's a C program. And notice it's offering me the option to install the recommended extensions for C. And I would definitely recommend you do that. This C, C++ extension pack is really nice for some of the features it gives you if you're going to be writing C and C++ code and Visual Studio code, which if you're taking one of my classes, you definitely will be. And so it looks like that's ready to go. So I can close this window and I'm going to close the get started window as well. Now I'm going to go ahead and save this. And I need to browse to the folder that I just created. So it's this PC, C colon, develop C programming. And I'm going to call this example.c. So now I'm going to write just a real quick hello world type C program. And you'll notice I'm getting some syntax highlighting there. That's because it doesn't know where standard IO.h is. And that's a problem we'll need to fix in a moment. So I'm going to save this file. And then you'll see over here, here's my example.c. Now to compile it, I'm going to use GCC running under bash. The assumption here is that you have bash already installed. If you download the Windows Evaluation VM, it's actually there for you. And I have other videos on how to get that set up on Windows. But for now, I'll just search for it. It's already there. And so I will start it. Now, the first thing I need to do is I need to get to this directory. And you'll notice I'm in the Windows System 32 directory. The root of the C directory is at mnt.c. CD stands for change directory, change to this to slash mount slash C. And then if I do an LS, that gives me the files that are there. You'll notice some of these I don't have permissions for. And these are the folders that are in my root directory on the C drive. And here's the folder that I just created. So I'll CD to develop and I'll CD to C programming. And I don't actually type that fast, but you can use tab to complete the names. And so that's what I was doing there to make that go quicker. So now if I do an LS, you can see here's my example C code. So the compiler we use is GCC. Now if I GCC example.c, you'll notice that GCC is not found, but helpfully it tells me how to install that. So I'm going to install it. I'll type sudo apt install GCC. It's gonna ask me for the password. And then it's gonna say, hey, this is what I need to install. Do you wanna continue? Of course, because I need to install it. And then I wait for it to complete installation. And so you'll see I get some errors here. And again, hopefully it'll tell me run apt-get update. And sudo just says run it as an administrator. So you'll notice it's downloading some additional things here. And remember that initial installation failed. So once this is done, I'm going to need to start it all over. So now let's try to install GCC again. And you'll notice I didn't have to type that out. I used the up arrow to recall the previous commands one of which was the one I wanted to install GCC. And again, I'm going to say, yes, I want you to install this stuff. So now we have GCC installed. Again, I have my example.c. So let's do GCC, the C11 standard. We'll get all warnings. We want it to be pedantic about the standard. So now if I do an LS, you can see that it's generated this a.out. That's the file I want to use in 
bash, we have to use dot slash to say we want you to run this file in the current directory, which is a.out. Out, and you can see it says this is a C program running under Windows 11. Now, if I wanted to change the name of my output file, here's my GCC command again. I can say dash O, and then I can give it any name I choose. So I can call it example program. Now, if I run example program, you can see that it runs that for me. Now, the other one is still there. It doesn't delete it. I now have two programs that if I do an ls-l, which does the sizes, you'll notice I have two programs that are have identical sizes right here. So this is a quick overview of how to compile C programs in Windows 11 using GCC and Bash.